Hey guys, and welcome back to yu gi -Oh! Down South. Uh, today we're going to be looking at another deck profile, but before we do, let's go over some of the things that will be happening on the channel. The first thing uh, that you might be able to see down here is I've got a new mic up, which will hopefully help with some of the audio issues people have been experiencing and were experiencing with yesterday's video. The next thing is sort of what's on the cards for this week. Uh, at the very least, I'm going to bring you four deck profiles. Uh, one from each major region, so one from Cape Town, one from Durban, one from Pretoria, and one from Joburg. Uh, profiling what current top players are playing, the kinds of tech choices they're making, to hopefully help you with tech and deck choices leading into national season. So let's get started. Uh, this first list we have here today is Lungis Tikane from Cape Town's first place deck profile at, uh, from the regionals last month in Cape Town at Durbanville Gaming. He, where he played Spiral. Uh, so let's get into the list. It's pretty damn spicy, as you can see. So uh, first off, we got three Super Agent and three Tough. Uh, pretty standard. As well as your standard Spiral one offs Power one offs the Sleeper, the Master Plan, the Last Resort, the Quick Fix, and the Drone. Um, pretty standard. Uh, three Tough is interesting just because Tough is so good going second. You know, so broken, right? Uh, and then we start getting into the spicier side of things. You see, he's running a 5 card, 3 ravine, and dark worm, and distrudo engine. Uh, these are all essentially play extenders and basically bait for Ash Blossom. Um, that you can play that can uh, either bait out Ash or just extend his plays entirely. Uh, dark worm is a free level 4, and distrudo gives you level 7 synchro material. Uh, so that's really good uh, and really interesting. A lot of Spiral builds were playing it before, but with three Ravine and only one Resort, you've got to start leaning on that side of the strategy a little bit more sometimes. Uh, and then the real spice, this kind of like side deck meets main deck smash up. Uh, two main Gamma Seal and the main Cyframe Gear Gamma and Driver Engine uh, for hand traps. No other hand traps in the main deck. Uh, this is really interesting, and when I asked Lungi about it, he said, the whole point of this was to give himself a really, really good Magician matchup um, because Gamma is one of the better hand traps against Magicians and Gamma Seal just combats everything uh, going second. This idea that, like, I want to go first, but if I have to go second, I will, and you know what? I'll kick your ass. Um, and that can sort of be seen through with the one Dark Hole, one Regeki that he was playing as well. This idea of, like, this deck wants to go first, but you know what? It can go second, and it can go second really damn well. That's the interesting thing about Spiral. They don't need much to make their board going first. And then the rest of the time, they can just get a bunch of going second stuff and jam it all in to screw over your strategy. Um, and then we've got sort of your seven uh, field spell um, sort of engine going on here with three terraforming, three ravine, and the one resort. The ravines obviously are there for the dump dragon uh, sort of engine and the one resort, <laughs> rest in peace, spiral resort, um, along with two big reds um, to round out the spiral sort of section of the deck for the most part, and then just a whole bunch of power one of spells. We've got one one for one, one rota, one soul charge, one foolish burial, and one monster reborn, as well as that one spicy cold from the grave. Now, I asked him about it, and he said uh, the reasoning why he played only one call from the grave was because he could only get one on the day, but I asked if he'd bump it up to two, and he said yes, at least between main and side deck, he'd probably be running two. And then, oh my gosh, the spice, that double main Forbidden Chalice. Now, this is something you saw a lot, like, a year ago in Zoo format. But this idea that Forbidden Chalice can just take a Magician matchup and crap on it by saying, no, you had, thought you had one negate because I stopped most of your other negates. No, you have no negates now, so I'm just going to go do my thing, build my board, break, my, break your board, and you're going to die now. Um, so really, really interesting sort of general choices for the main deck. This kind of very much of a mashup of main deck and side deck built together so that uh, damn sure you're definitely going to be winning game one. And then rounding out the deck there, you have the two spiral mission rescues. Some people play three, but I can understand uh, it's cloggy. And with minimal discard fodder, you don't really want to be running three of those. Going on to the extra deck, we've got... The Galaxy Tomahawk uh, for the rank 7 uh, Master Plan Overlay plays to get you just a bunch of tokens for link spamming. Uh, the Princess Sprite for the Quick Fix and the Drone. And then uh, the Spicy Synchros, the Omega, obviously, for the Driver and Gamma package. 
the Black Rose, uh, Black Rose and Ancient Fairy are really interesting in decks that play Destrudo because Destrudo can literally just make either of these simply and easily. Need a play? You have access to Destrudo? Bam! You can make it. You can make it super easily. Um, so the Black Rose Dragon, in case he needs to just nuke the entire board, and the Ancient Fairy Dragon for extending standard spiral plays. Uh, and then your link monsters are pretty standard. The one Barrel Load, one Firewall, one Deco Talker. Um, quite standard. The two Double Helix, which is pretty standard for any spiral matchup. Uh, the Ib, which just helps kind of building up into your large link plays. Um, as well as the Proxy, which does the same, and the under uh, and the Underclock. Uh, the Link Spider, which helps with the uh, Tomahawk tokens as well as that one spicy Dragon Buster for the cherries in the side deck. Uh, and then moving on to the side deck, it's pretty simple. Lugisa was like, no, you know what? I'm going to play five cards in my side deck. I'm going to play five cards, uh, but I'm going to play three copies of each. So he played the nine Hand Traps, three Ash, three Ogre, and three Reaper, as well as three Twin Twisters and three Dimensional Barriers. Now, Dimensional Barrier, like I said, is really, really interesting uh, for the South African meta because so many people play like rogue decks and um, decks that use like uh, Herald and Xyz heavy decks and even Invoked. So like having Dimensional Barrier there and having it going first just completely shuts them down from playing the game, which is why I think Dimensional Barrier is probably the closest you're going to get to some sort of side deck generic 3 off stable. Like I said yesterday, if I could, I would have played uh, three barriers in my side um, for the Durban Regional that I went to. So, a really good overall deck. Um, so that's Lingisa's deck. It's a fantastic, interesting deck profile that just gives you some ideas on how to build your deck going forward. This idea that, like, yes, so many things on these small cores, but there are so many different engines and interesting things you can do with your main deck to combat specific matchups. In this case, he faced Magicians, he beat Magicians. The guy went 6-0. It's not much more you can say about it. Right, so that's the deck profile for today. Tune in tomorrow where uh, we'll have a look at another deck profile of another top player. Um, if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, uh, comment down below the other types of content you'd like me to do. Um, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. So until next time, guys.